Hi folks, welcome back to the Cannabis Corner. I'm your host, Kerry Burns. You know, when I do interviews of people on the street and all, and I ask them, why do you think uh, cannabis is legal in the United States of America and why we're not growing hemp? Most of them say that it's because of the money, because these cartels are making so much money and that that's why things stay illegal, that politicians are paid off, et cetera, et cetera. And somewhat, there, some of that may be true. But when you really take a hardcore look at the numbers and all, it's plain and simple to see that if it were about the money, then we would have cannabis legal and it wouldn't be for marijuana consumption, but from what the money that would the hemp industry would generate. But let's just look at the cannabis cultivation and the cannabis consumption that would take place in a legal America, say they did legalize it today. Ha! Huh. If every citizen, person, man, woman, child, baby, you name it, in the United States, all 300 million consumed an ounce of marijuana a day, for 365 days a year, this would come out to be 6.843 billion pounds per year that the United States would consume, or around 3.422 million tons per year. Hemp is planted 40 seed per square foot. When you look at 43,650 square feet per acre at 40 seed per square foot, this gives you 1,746,000 plants. Now, if most hemp production, when they talk about the flower tops and all, they say the average yield is around six tons per acre. Even though I disagree with this number, I went ahead and did the math at six tons per acre. And with 1,746,000 plants, each plant would have to be yield 3.2 grams of flowers, which would be the equivalent of about one joint. Now folks, hemp's grown 40 seed per square foot. These plants get between 20 to 40 feet tall. I guarantee you the top two-thirds of that plant is all flower top when it's in bloom. With that being the case, it's way more than three grams per plant. So we'll just go with the three gram figure, just, just because that's been a published fact that it was around six tons per acre. And say we're just a little bit more reasonable and figured each plant at one ounce per plant, that would be 1,746,000 ounces per acre. Divide that by the 16 ounces per pound, and this gives you a yield of 109,125 pounds per acre, or 54 tons. This figure is actually around nine times higher than what the published facts have been, and it's actually probably even more closer to the truth, even though this number itself, I anticipate and figure that probably is a little bit conservative, because one ounce per plant, even on a 20 foot tall uh, flower top, would be quite incredible to me. It's probably more like about four ounces, but we'll stick with the one. So we're looking at a 54 ton per acre. If the total consumption, of, now remember, this is if everybody in the country, all 300 million citizens smoked, not just the 50 million that do smoke cannabis, all 300 million would consume 3.4 million tons per year. At 54 tons per acre, this would only take 62,714 acres to grow every bit of cannabis that all 300 million people in America could smoke, consuming an ounce a day. Now I know a lot of you out there that don't smoke cannabis and all, you probably wonder how much do people smoke a day? Hey, they smoke a pound a day, you know, an ounce a day, a joint a day, whatever. I would say that for a person who smoked an ounce a day, I would find that very hard to believe. It's more, if, if they smoke an ounce a week, they're really a, a he, pretty heavy smoker. You know, an ounce a day, that's pushing it. But we did all the numbers just for fun at an ounce a day, just to show you how ridiculous it is. And at, at an ounce a day, for the entire population of America, it would only take 62,714 acres to supply America. That's at an ounce per plant. If you use the three grams per plant, which was the six tons per acre, then it would take 570,000 acres. Now, 570,000 acres, even at three grams a plant, this isn't even, this is roughly about 10% of what we plant each year for food crops in America. We plant over 25 million acres of corn just for fuel to add to our gasoline. So 570,000 acres right there, that's all it would take at three grams per plant, which is about one joint. And I promise you, there's more than one joint on those 20 foot stalks of hemp stalks. All right, let's just look at if you were going to use that acre for cannabis cultivation. And you figured one plant every nine square feet. This would be one plant in a three by three plot. Of the 43,650 square feet that you have in an acre, you divide that by nine square feet, 
That will allow 4,850 plants per acre. If each plant yielded one ounce, this would be 4,850 ounces per acre or 303 pounds. If it was a four ounce yield per plant, which is what most of the seed advertisers advertise on the most of your seed banks, you're looking at 19,400 ounces or around 1,212 pounds, roughly 0 0.6 tons, six tenths of a ton. If each plant yielded one pound, this would be 4,850 pounds per acre and roughly 2.425 tons per, per acre. Now, if we're just planting marijuana from marijuana cultivation and not hemp, and we're using one plant per nine square feet, okay? At, at a one ounce yield, we're looking at around 22 million acres. That's about roughly 10%, maybe 15% of what we plant just in food crop here in this country. If it was a four ounce yield, we'd be looking at 5.6 million acres, about what we don't harvest in this country over most of our crops. If their plants yielded a one pound per plant yield, we would be talking about 1.4 million acres of land. This is roughly three tenths of 1% of what we grow for food crops. But that's with everybody in America smoking cannabis at a rate of an ounce a day. Of course, we know infants don't smoke pot. Children don't smoke pot. Not all adults smoke pot. There's a significant amount of older population that couldn't, can't smoke. But if you take the 50 million people who use cannabis on a regular basis in this country, that's what we're going to figure out now. How much would it take to provide for those 50 million people? Okay, 50 million people smoking an ounce a day for one year, 365 days. We're looking at 18,250,000 ounces, or divide by 16 ounces per pound, we're looking at 1 million, I mean, excuse me, 1 billion, 140 million pounds per year. Divide that by the 2,000 pounds per ton, we roughly would consume 570,000 tons per year. Now that's smoking an ounce a day. There again, not many of the 50 million people out there are smoking an ounce a day. If they're smoking an ounce a week, that would still be quite a bit to do. But we're figuring it out an ounce a day, just to show how ridiculous this is. If you take the 570,000 tons that would be required to smoke in an ounce a day, divide it by the 54 tons per acre, now that's growing hemp, we're looking at 10,500 acres to supply that 50 million market. This, folks, this is just like tobacco. Yeah, you could plant, you know, 100 million acres of tobacco in this country. Each one yields about 2,000 pounds per acre. Who are you going to sell it to? Who are you going to sell it to? There's nobody there that out there smoking it. Of the 50 million people that smoke cigarettes in this country, they only grow it on 300 and something thousand acres of land to supply that market. Cannabis would even be yet less because the yields are way significantly higher than what you get from tobacco. If we, if we look at the yields planting the plants just for marijuana cultivation, 570,000 tons, this is a plant Every nine square feet, each plant yielding one ounce, we would need to plant about 3.8 million acres. That's about 1% of our food crops that we plant. If you take the 570,000 tons on a plant, nine square feet yielding four ounces per plant, it would only take nine, just under a million acres, 940,000 acres. If we get a pound per plant, which is very real, very, very possible, we're looking at 237,000 acres to get what these people would smoke if they were smoking an ounce a day. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when you look at the fact that an acre of hemp produces $22,000 of product, and that's selling the cannabis, that's not even putting a price on the cannabis and all that, and that the industry per year would yield a trillion and a half dollars, we're, you know, we're, we're really kind of uh, kidding ourselves if we think it's all about the money, because it's not. The money's nothing. I mean, when you look at the fact that we'll be able to grow just for the 50 million that if they smoked an ounce a day, that we could do that on less than a half a million acres of land, and even less if the plant yields were even higher, and I suspect that they would be. Even the 54 tons per acre on hemp is a very conservative one. That's only one ounce per stalk of flower top. And we're talking about a 20, 20 to 25 foot portion of that 40 foot stalk that's all flower top. That's at least one ounce. And I'm, I'm almost sure that the yields are a lot higher. And also, too, when you when the, look at the oil consumption that was generated at 20 to 30 barrels per acre, this was based on a 6 to 10 ton average on the cannabis flowers, which contain a lot of oil. 
if we're getting 54 tons at one acre, I mean, one ounce per plant, we're talking maybe we could yield around 100 barrels per acre on, on growing hemp. Sophisticated methods and the science that we have today, this is very possible. So it's not about the money of selling the cannabis in this country. That You could give the cannabis away. If we were allowed to grow hemp, you could grow just, the, you know, uh, say you wanted to plant 100 million acres of hemp. You know, you'd only have to take about 500,000 acres of that to, to of the flower tops produce on 500,000 acres of it to supply what the entire United States would consume if everybody out there, man, woman, and child smoked. So stop letting the government lie to us. Stop letting them pretend that we have this dangerous substance on the on the market out there and that we just got to keep it away from our children. It's a joke. It's absolutely a joke. And just like during Prohibition, the, there'd be many people there that went through that period that would tell you that it was way easier to get a drink when alcohol was illegal than it was after it became legal. And it's the same true with cannabis. If we put an age limit on it, tax and make the money off the sales tax revenue of what the hemp products would yield. This is where the gold mine is, folks. This is where the gold mine is, not to mention what the farmer brings in. I mean, it's, it's, it, it would put so many people to work. Their $400 million bonus package they were wanting to do to create jobs in this country, they said we might generate two or three million jobs, which is about probably 20% of what we actually need. If you put a trillion and a half dollar industry in there, you'd immediately employ 10 million people. You'd almost do away with the unemployment of 9% that we're looking at in this country immediately. So it's not about the numbers about the cannabis and the cannabis and all that. It's going to be cheap, dirt cheap, because once you legalize hemp production, the <laughs> folks wake up. It's time. <laughs>